Yeah, he said he's a homie. Honestly. He is, man. He is. He's a great guy. Great, great guy all around, man. Yeah, he's cool. And speaking of cool, we got two uh, two players here, winner, or lo losers semis. Gonna be seeing Daisy versus Inkling. Yeah, if you guys are wondering back at home, uh, where uh, what is XX doing here? He is originally from NorCal. He was ranked, I believe, in their last PR. Top three in NorCal, but he's elected to move down here to SoCal. Oh, so he has moved here. Yeah, he has moved here alongside Mr. R. So, hey, man, uh, SoCal looking to just get Wait. some other people come back here and take the namesake for others. Oh, uh, yeah, Ramen does uh, live here. They, do yeah. they both live at Sky House? Or? Hey, man, oh, I don't know, man. I, right. I don't even live there, so I just know that they're here. Razo, anyway. of course, one of the heroes of the 818. I'm sorry, one of the heroes of the IE, man. I just paused for a second. I was like, hold on. Now Samurai, the hero of the Inland Empire. That's cool that Eggs actually is looking here, though. Yeah. Almost lost the arrow, man. I, I, I was wishing arrow. Let's, let's get back to the game here. For Razo, his game plan is to understand how Inkling likes to go for the movement, loves to go for back air. I talked about it earlier, like cross ups, splat bombs to force different recoveries. For Razo, is what do I do to stop Inkling from feeling comfortable and using that movement, right? And I think it's understanding when to go for float, understanding when to go for turnip, things like that. How do I stop something from moving? It's always putting something in their way. And I feel like that's what Raz was trying to understand here, is putting something in Exact's way. Definitely. And we already see uh, Exact taking off this first stock, and I just feel like that Razo isn't putting on that aggression that Daisy is able to put on and just lock Inkling down. Yeah. He just, it looks like he's giving Exact a little too much space, and when you give Inkling space to do his things, he took so much damage for it. Yeah. We also have a player in the A18 known as Not Blast. He does really well with Peaches. So, quite, quite a bit of two really great Peach and Daisy mains, nonetheless. I am used to seeing like Razo make these really big clutch and damaging plays, but it's kind of weird to kind of see him take it slow a little bit. I know he came back from EDC. Uh, I oh, you're giving him Johns. Yeah, to man. be fair, yeah. No, man, I, I heard the story you guys all have to go through. God, back. Nice. Man. And the first exit has to go to the story of Razor gets that back throw, sets up the edge right off oh. the stage, man, too low, shall not pass. Yeah. I, I don't think he would have recovered, but I'm yeah. surprised he didn't try. He went for Roller at that point, so oh, he's, yeah. 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 Roller still has some time before you can actually uh, Act out of can it. cancel it. Yeah, you have to wait till like frame 30 or something. The only other Inkling main and Noodle that we have here is still for those wondering uh, who we have. I know we have Argus here, he does. He has some wins, I have to admit. Yeah, but we, I, I honestly haven't credit. even seen his uh, Inkling that much. Yeah, but I haven't seen him in the either. Yeah, we don't, yeah, we don't really have that many other Inkling mains. I know there's, I know Mage, I think, still Mage. plays Inkling, and... I think uh, his semester's over, so he's in Texas. We uh -huh. also have uh, Boom Shakalaka, aka Marcus. Yeah, I know there's some others, but like none of them are really like doing that work that Inkling can do, you know? So, you know, having Exact live here, we're gonna have a good representation for, or a really good representation for Inkling. Down smash, nice, yeah. catch the roll got up there. And like I mentioned earlier, like he wants to make sure he has a splat bomb to force this kind of recovery. He's like with the low recovery, the high recovery, the roll get up, those options. Razzle, man, just dancing on him with tiptoes. Gets oh, the damage. Great the dash dance. Here's the punish. Yeah, I love the whiff punish. We'll maybe like to see something else, like oh. a uh, peach bomb or something. Speaking of the devil, here it is. Yo, man, I only saw pushing. I only saw the fact that Exodus was pushing up bases on that one. Back air, looking for a possible opportunity to go for back air. Oh, now we got to turn up. What do we got for these? Turn oh. around. A bit of damage. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Exodus is kind of going in with that combo right there. Down throw back up. Oh, tilt. F tilt. Not what I uh, would have thought I was going to see. Is that F tilt? I'm so sorry. That was F tilt. Okay. Yeah, F tilt's like a kick up. Not not a move you really see Peach. The only tilt you really reliably see Peach use is down tilt just because it's so good. And the other ones are just meh. They're, they're there. They're there because she needs to have other tilts. Like, they're, they're both anti air options, but if you're going to anti air, you have the entirety of Peach. Oh, almost got some crap here. Razo looking for that safe pull up with that forward air. It backs up, uses directional DI just to make sure he's able to just get away from the shield. Great opportunity to understand Exax was showing his hand in play. Went for a few empty hops, forward smash, nothing connect though. Oh, I love the flow cancel uh, fair to get him out of the disadvantage. 80%, this is nothing to scoff at right now. If Razo starts putting on the aggression, you can really you can really see that Exax is kind of starting to like, oh, wait a minute, I have a lot of damage on me. Go throw off there again. Oh, watch yourself, Razo. Watch yourself there, man. Went for the forward air and immediately Exax got the space instead. Going with your hand, gets painted there. Get a big slap to the face. Yeah, hurts. Exax didn't take that first game, but Razo still bringing it back and uh, making it respectively close. So we'd like to see him, I'd like to see Razo 
go and put on a little more pressure like we were seeing at the end and then just try to elicit reaction from Exact to see what he'll do. Game two gonna go to FD now. I'm not quite sure what I think of this pick against uh, against Inkling. I think it's it's hard for me. This is a character I'm not really familiar with. Same like I mentioned, we don't have a lot of Inklings, but um, to be honest, I feel that having the flat stage kind of just gives Inkling the space to move around, whether it's along the platforms. But at the same time, it gives Rosie that flat down land. Just go ahead and like make sure like okay, nothing in the way for him to feel safe. Some of my aerial defenders are a little bit different here, but unfortunately he lost the stock there already with just less than 30 seconds gone. This is not the Rouse I'm used to seeing. He's usually like a very big play. He makes big plays, but unfortunately, like, I feel like he's kind of taking the matchup as he learns it. Mm -hmm. and, and as far as the FD pick, now that I think about it, like you will honestly see a lot of Peach's uh, counter pick too here. So I think it's not like this is what I want to do against anything, but I think it's like this is my this is my comfort stage. It's the stage where he gets his chance to do his extended combos and do his zero to death if he gets them. But you know, like you said, we haven't actually seen them. Mm -hmm. Back air, turn up toss, looking for the opportunity to get a win punish here. Love the dash attack to break the space right there. You don't really oh, see that was so yet. close, man. You saw him already up the house match. Look at it, just carry this character on the skies. Preemptive Rashido. Takes with the border yet again. Ross was pretty solid at that one because he knows that, hey, I want to make sure I test the shield here, test the waters, shield pressure here. Did you see that double? Yeah, that was disgusting. I want to see more stuff like that. If he's going to pressure. Put that pressure on. Exactly. That's where I feel like he's lacking here. He's only like just touching the shield, letting him know, like, hey, man. Like, honestly, Daisy, put it in his face. Like, what's he going to do about it? <laughs> <laughs> right, like, there's nothing. <laughs> oh, my God, man. Just, just grab him. Put it in his face, man. Like, back it up on him. Like, so many players can't do anything about it. And then they'll try to jump away to reset to neutral. It's like, you're not going and anywhere. You, and then you can read that. Go for a forward air. But the problem is he's only going for forward air. And then goes for the drift back. No pressure. Just a quick test of the shield. Like, yo, man, is the shield activated? All right, hold on. Let me back off for a second. And already we see Rouse on his last stock again. He's, he's not looking like he knows what to do against any of this caliber, like you were saying. The only practice I assume he has is Archister. Mm -hmm. Well, Archister is good. I just think that, you know, x just kind of puts on... A that, different show. Yeah, that different show, that different level of pressure and how how clean he is, honestly. Yeah, but when you talk about characters and their mains, right, each one, yeah, they mean the same character results are a thing, but each one has their own way to main the character. Their, their own, own metagame. Exactly. So close. so close, but he forced that low recovery, trying to avoid the Daisy Bomber. See, we just, we just see these short bursts of Browser, like, actually, I kind of need to win right now. And exactly. When he's down, he's like, all right, I'm going to go for it now. And it's like, bro, if you did that the whole time, Exox would not be able to play the game. Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe, again, maybe he had a rough weekend, had a long long day, maybe not too well rested, or maybe just what x is so good at shutting down Ron will make him second guess himself. And he's he's not only second guessing himself, he's second guessing his plays, that kind of stuff. Like I said, he's only making safe pokes, but what do they avail? Like, they don't. Normally, like we mentioned earlier, you want to go for these, like, auto canceled, um, full cancels. Pressure the shield. Let make make sure he's gonna let go of it, right? Like make sure you find a way to open the shield. You're basically what you're doing is you you have you have a nut. You only tap on it, and you don't even crack the nut. G give me food. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like you don't even crack the nut, bro. You like it's there. All right, going over to the it's peach, there, bro. but he goes to Peach. I yeah, feel like like let like, like me see. Like you were saying earlier, he'll do like the flow cancel back, and then immediately go for grab instead of just trying to continue to poke on. Or just mm -hmm. he'll hit once, try to cash out, and. Just let him return back to neutral. Exactly. And that's the problem. You're letting him get, with, get, get away with a lot here. All right, spacing. There's the grab here. Good punish back. And he goes for the neutral air. Finally, Razo just showing a little bit of the combo potential he's really looking for. Uh, quick full cancel back here. Oh, Fresh with the fair, though. Locks up. Oh, sorry, go ahead. I was, was going to say, like, it was really good because he saw the floor there and he's like, hold on. Let me, let me get mine first. Yeah. He just really locks you into place. Like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Am I allowed to leave? Right. Oh, I love the parry on the down air. Razzle coming back. Defend the hero, one of the heroes of the IE. Four throw. Get him off the stage, man. This is my land. We don't share this. We don't share these battles. We don't share these final destinations. Man. That's what's up. All right, now Razzle actually having a lead now. We haven't seen him have much of a lead since I believe game one. Yeah. Drag's yeah, here. He's looking for the opportunity to finally get in. Gets a dash tag. Solid move. I mean, it, it comes up pretty quick. He has the speed, too, so he also needs to understand, like, okay, I need to move around Rosal just a little bit more. 
And one thing that he's not been going for lately is he went for last game is Roller. And I kind of want to see how XX might be going for Roller. Oh, here we go. This is big. Like I said, this is why he won FD. He got 45% just for spinning at him three times. It's not fair, man. That was a Palu. <laughs> definitely. The, yeah, flow cancel there is definitely the spin to win. Give you yeah. everything. Speaking of. The wheel, the wheel of fortune. Win, yeah, speaking of winning, uh, put him in the ground and then slap him around. like. Yeah, like, put this man in the coffin. So 68% on X-Axe. Razo did have a does have a considerable lead with that combo he was able to get. Full jab, solid inkage. Get up, watch the roller, and watch the back air. Look at the approaches here. And back air. He was ready to capitalize the fact that Razo was all the way on that side of the stage. Get roller forward smash. Could have been curtain call. Oh, I love up that up air. Yep. Not gonna kill yet. But I believe maybe another one, he might die. Speaking of which, grab. Nope, back throw. Throw him away. Pressure on the shield. Nice, but he only gets a cross up. No opportunity to go for a punch himself. He's like, Except oh, sorry. Except with great reaction, sorry. No, it's just like, you see Razo, once he gets that flow cancel hit, he'll immediately shield. Like, Peach can just hit you and, and then continue to be an advantage. State. I don't think he's, he's, he's not acting like he's still an advantage state after he hits you where he's still plus. Because he can just move away and then you can't hit him and then you can Ooh. whip punish whatever they try to do. I love the full cancel back here and turn around Tomahawk. Nice. Oh. Toss, toss a turn up there because he wanted to make sure the eggs are going to pick up the recovery option. Forcing those options out. Solid pressure with back up. Fully, that roll was not going to be what Mike Raza was looking for. Back roll. Yeah. Not going to kill yet though. Oh man, this princess. Oh, that crown is heavy. Crown is heavy. Oh my gosh, he had, back, had a back throw right there. Good yeah. pressure. Finally, the opportunity, right? I told you, he only just touched the nut, cracked the nut open, man. Get the goods. That's definitely that FGC, like, corner pressure. You're in the corner, you get hit once, and you're like, right. I don't know if I can do anything about this. That's, that's what I'm saying. If you have your opponent in the corner, keep him there. Don't, don't say, like, hey, man, you can come back. You're, you're, it's your turn. Yeah. It's your turn. I'll be a nice guy. No, I don't no, care man. about you. <laughs> we ain't friends. <laughs> this one in the line. I like the, uh, I like the conditioning that XX put on him with the flat bomb. I think he knew he was going to roll, but he was like, I don't think he'll actually roll because that'd be the obvious option. Put the berries and try to go for the back, but barely missing. Rob's probably counting the stars. He actually oh, no, he counted the stars, man, but he's counting the damage to 96 percent. Definitely needs about one conversion. I'll throw up there. Yeah, and no. Yeah, the eye not looking the greatest on it, but I think that would have killed either way. XX with a 3-0. Yeah, man, tough stuff for Russell here, but... I don't know. I feel like wh that last game finally started to wake up, started to finally put pressure, like we said earlier, like started to finally just get things together. But unfortunately, it was like too little, too late. I think it was like what we were saying earlier, like 